Welcome back, everybody, for another uh, AB2DE custom campaign. And I guess we're going way, way back to the last Neanderthal. Uh, this is another Philadelphia custom campaign scenario. And unlike the last two, which were kind of supposedly shorter defense-oriented ones, this one is going to be like Haiku of the Ronin. It's like an RPG scenario. And apparently, according to him, it is his most downloaded scenario on HD. This is, of course, a port over for DE. And uh, I haven't played it or seen anything of it before, so it's all new to me. So let's see what being a Neanderthal is about. This scenario is unlike any other Age of Empires scenario and should be played and understood as different. You play as a Neanderthal, a being of another species. While very capable and fully adapted to the lifestyle he lived, his life and process of thinking were simultaneously very different and very familiar to ours. The following slides are optional but provide some scientific insight on this remarkable cousin of humanity. Uh, yeah, I don't really need to go through this because then we're sitting here talking and I lose my voice before I even get to this game, because, yeah. Please set the game speed to normal, music off, and sound high. Uh, E trudged across the frozen landscape, his feet sinking into the wet blanket of white across the earth, barely distinguishable on the horizon from the whitish gray sky. The repetitive crunch, crunch, crunch of the snow with each footfall provided a rhythm for his thoughts and splashed in vivid color on the naked canvas of the blank vastness before him. Also, yeah, we're keeping on the music because I like the music. See, it's it's the, the, the baby crying with the happy hun music. He saw the furrowed brows of his infant son, Ek, born only a few moons ago, but how many moons or even why it would matter, he could not know. Oh, God. He saw Ek's mother, Ko, who went to l into the long sleep after the birth of Ek. Oh, feels bad, man. She sleeps in the cave, warmed by dirt and rocks and flowers. E sees Ko during his short sleeps. Something... There, the splashes of vivid thoughts were interrupted by the deer standing motionless in the snow. An instinct honed by years of practice consumed E as he leapt and drove his spear into the surprised creature. E and Ek and the family... E, it's me. I'm a villager. Europe, thirty thousand BC. Run! Oh God! Run away! Run away! Um, I don't really know how. Oh, I guess they can't cross the uh the ice. Oh wow, ice broke. The last of the Nian. Oh wait. Oh, I slowly regen. Very mysterious. Of course, it sounds a little bit strange, considering we uh, stick with the music. But uh, I don't regret anything. I like the jarring discrepancy. Anyway, here's our lovely cave, as we are pretty much cavemen. Well, not really men. Oh, hey! Err and Kum! Err and Kum! Born of different mothers with different fathers, but still A's brothers. A sung excitedly, varying his pitch and smacking his thighs in welcome. Their hunt was not very successful either. The family will need food. The three will work together to find prey. They will go across the frozen creek. It's Err and Kum and E. Yi saw hairline cracks on the ice of the half-frozen creek. The hunters uh, could cross, but would need to be careful uh, to cross the weakened ice. Oh boy. Uh, sorry, we're only sending Kum. Okay. I guess this is a safe path. Uh, don't you drown. I don't know if Neanderthals could swim. I'm going to assume not. All right, E. All right. Good, good, good. Uh, what were we doing again? <laughs> Objectives have no meaning to me. 
Oh, oh, I actually probably should play with music off then if the the actual sounds are supposed to be telling us stuff. Well, I guess we'll just walk around. The hunter saw the barely perceptible marks of deer hooves imprinted in the something snow. Ern Kum took position for the ambush out of sight of the deer. E would go unseen around and unsmelt. He would scare the deer and coerce it into the ambush. All right, I guess we just go ahead and sort of lure the deer. Just go around. Bring it around town. I don't know if I should shoot it or not. And? Do you guys want to... Don't let him get away! What are you idiots doing? No wonder they weren't successful in their hunt. Oh my goodness. Oh, now. Oh, okay. I guess I had to be the first one to take the shot because E is clearly pack leader. As the hunters prepared to butcher the animal, scavengers began to appear. E had to protect his brothers and their newly won kill. Whoa! Go away. Me? Go away. Me? Go away! Go away! Stop it! Stop it, you! Go away! I guess we just have to take the entire deer. Do these guys also regen? Okay, good. Yay! The hunters were successful, but the lone deer would not provide enough sustenance for the family. The squat but powerful bodies of his people required a more more than lean deer. They were hunt bigger prey, and probably this boar. Uh, there was a beast whose meat could feed the family. The hunters would have to be careful hunting such a powerful creature with mighty tusks. Um... Hmm. Can we take this just from high ground? We're the Neanderthals, but we're actually Huns. We're forest mothers goths. But we're, we ourselves don't get the extra damage versus boars. Um... Well, let's give her a go. Uh, okay, yeah, we're fine. Hunt was successful. E would return to the cave with the food. Are we teleporting? Wait, how much food do we have on us? How do we have so much carry capacity? I guess we already have handcart. Nope. I have no idea then. We have a lot of food. Stop it. Wait, those guys stop at 44, but we're already into 55. Armindu. 60. We just have unlimited carry capacity. Um. Okay, we stopped at 66. I guess we just go home now. Others, family, forest mother, and me. Timu. I hope we can... Or maybe we can just go around this way? No, we can't. Whoops. 
I think we're supposed to cross one at a time. Otherwise the ice will break. That'd be my guess. What the hell is that? The hell? What's going on? At the cave. Hunters saw their bodies of their family consumed by the long sleep nibbled by a ferocious wolf. Oh, Ripperino. We don't even get the food. Also, how did we get all the way over here? Oh, I guess this is inside of our cave. Oh, hey. Uh, through a spry dance... Wait. Through a spry dance of gestures and short high-pitched sing-song vocalization, the shaman told the hunters that the wolves did not hurt the family. Wait, what? I, I thought they were dead. Okay, the gray walls of the cavern were splotched with red marks in the shapes of a stampeding bison and massive mammoths. E's family did not make these. They were here before, left by some unknown creatures. When, as a child, E saw the marks, the old shaman gave him images of the others. Creatures on two legs like E, but darker and very different. I guess those are humans. Sorvasons. Guess we'll just keep on keeping on. Fear gripped the hunters. An invisible wall was blocking their path. This was way to the cave bear. They had to be brave. I guess Ur can be brave. Oh, you have 100 HP. Can you guys come too? Oh my goodness, that guy does a lot of damage. No! <laughs> Micro against the bear! The cave bird returned to its long sleep in the cave. E emerged from the cave, blinded by the bright sunlight of the reflective snow. Flashes of the faces of his family burst and bubbled onto his watery eyes. As the drops of tears washed away, the colors of the faces of the terrain coalesced in front of him. E was filled with the single-minded purpose of acquiring flowers for his sleeping family. Wait. Are they dead or are they not dead? Also, where the hell did the other guys go? And we're back to having 66 food. I'm just so confused. I mean, I'm just clicking over here and seeing where he's going to end up going. And trust in DE pathing to do the rest. Cave lion? That is clearly a jaguar. Uh, get. Oh, wait. Would not attack him if he were in it. But even he could not stay in the water. Wait, what? Feared the freezing water. Well, it doesn't really do much damage. And we do have regen. I think. Yeah, we're very slowly regening. So, yeah, that's not an issue. Get the flowers. They're already holding meat. Can't we can we get the flowers? Are we supposed to go in the water? Do we have to? I mean I can already kill the cave lion, not Jaguar. What the heck is that? Okay, yeah. E's hands ripped the flowers from the snowy soil. He had to run. I don't really know why. We already killed the cave lion. That still sounds scary. Guess we just go home. Where? What? Where are you going? Time. Oh, hey. Er, what happened to the other guy? What the hell? To reiterate, what the hell? The faces of his family flashed through E's tear-covered sight in the dim cavern. Pain gripped the hunter like the ravenous bite of a wolf. His family would take the long sleep. Uh, they would go away and live in his dreams. E did not want him to go. His father and mother went. Ko went. And now little Ek and everyone else. No, wake up. They had to wake up. 
Why did we lose Loom? Um. He would bury his family. Yi knew they would not wake up. Wait, so what were they actually killed by? Were they killed by the humans or were they killed by the bear? Or there were some wolves too. What do I mine stone? I mean, I see the corpses here, and I guess those. Oh, yep, there we go. Ooh, now we have clubs. Grief stricken E would go to Ko's family that hunted the white bison across the valley. The wilderness was dangerous, but E needed the support of family like his. Uh, Ko was his wife, I believe. We don't even get the food anymore! Oh man. All of that hunting was for nothing! Um. What? Should I have seen that coming? Well, there go Urn Kum. Wait, whoops. Stricken with grief, E collapsed into the snow. Alrighty then. E awoke in a snowy clearing surrounded by mammoths. He did not fear them. Little Ek was crying. He was hungry. The animals would feed him. Um... What? I can't kill an elephant. Guy's got 75 HP and does 7 damage. I mean, I, I can't think of anything else I would be supposed to do. What? Okay. He grew frantic, swinging wildly at the mammoths. As they vanished into snowy wisp, he could hear Ek cry more. Frickin' debating us. Um. E woke again. The whitened sky began to darken as the trees burst long shadows across the graying snow. E could hear strange babbling, fast, unmimicable sounds whistling through the pine needles. Wait, we have one range? We're Kamiuks? Also ripped our other two friendos. Urnkum. Oh, that's a dead horse. He knew his family did not hunt these animals or make that fire. The dark-skinned others flashed into his sight, gripping E with fear. You have to hide! <laughs> Humans! Um... You're just going to stay there forever? You're just going to hang out? I'm bored. Maybe you can just debate them onto high ground? The other saw E. Their dark, tall, and skinny bodies covered with the fur and feathers silently springing toward... Was I not supposed to do that? Whoops. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, I tried to save uh, Ur and Kum, uh, but again, they died. Thankfully, uh, the autosave put me back, like, right here, so all I had to do was uh, kill those elephants, pretty much. Um... Hide! Alright, this time we're not going to go and try and fight them. Utskrit! 
I don't really know what else I could do. Can I go this way? I guess I just wait. Why do I feel like this isn't... I should have done something else. Oh. You just don't fight them. Oh. Well, I did lose most of my HP. Um... The others, dark tall, skinny bodies. Uh, yeah. To carefully get away from the others. That's what we're trying to do. That's what we're trying to do. Still doing it. That way. Well, that's fairly helpful. And we are still regening HP. The moonlight showered the snowy clearing, the snowy clearing in a silver glow. Ah! Um. Uh, he had to st stay until he knew the for sure the others had passed. Okay. Walk past the hidden E. He would have to continue to move carefully. I don't really know where I'm going though. Oh, ah! That's not fair. Uh... Um. All right, we're back again. All right, let's uh let's try hiding here. In our happy little nook. Freaking, it's the others. There, there should be white walkers. They shouldn't be humans. Continue to move carefully. Not with freaking... E wisely knew that the ice would make too much noise if he attempted to cross it. His footsteps were mock... I didn't read that bit real quick. That was my bad. <gasps> I didn't know they were coming from that way. Um, howls of wolves or growls of wolves. We're on the move. That is not the right way, apparently. Uh, ah, can I? Oh, I can't take him. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, you can see the bright flickers of a fire ahead. The long slender shadows of the others danced in the shifting flames. He knew he had to get to the fire. He would not survive the darkness of the forest and its ravenous beasts. He had to challenge the others. Um, we're not going to be winning this. It's literally three on one. And I'm a militia. Uh, well, I mean, it's what the game's telling me to do. Why does this not seem like a... The game told me to challenge them! Oh my god. Okay, um... The others were hunters like him. There was the color of fresh bark and the 
he did not know what to do as they emerged from the woods into the ring of brightness private by the flame. The others were visibly startled by the... Then stood frozen, their eyes glued to E. I don't know what I did differently. They vocalized the same calls he would use when approaching Ko's family. His hands and fingers danced in rhythmic gestures as he arched his back and sidestep around the edge of the light's pulsing boundary. Amid the motions and flickering light, E could not see the others slowly picking up and readying their spears. He continued his peaceful dance as they stealthily walked around him. I didn't even get the, like, the notification of like the people and the fire and the whatnot. Oh, what? Uh... Uh, this has, that has to be scripted. Okay. E awoke and saw Ek in front of him. Ek was not a little one anymore. He was tall and robust, a hunter like E. E swelled with pride as he saw his features in his son. Uh, E suddenly lurched as the another emerged from the darkness. Uh-oh. Oh, they, they vanished. Um, yeah. Uh, let's go rest. Stop it! This reminds me of the uh, the Age of Mythology, uh, the one level where you're literally dreaming. I mean, I know we're literally dreaming right now, but or something in some sort of hallucinogenic state. <laughs> um. Where am I going? I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, Shaman, the spirit of the troll was captured. We captured will save our tribe. Do not turn away from its ugliness. Let the beast relieve itself in your womb and you will be blessed with the son of the forest mother. What the hell? Giotica. Let the... What the... Um, Jyotika is mine. I will kill that troll. Uh, uh, the reindeer entrails tell us the ancestors' plan. The spirit of the troll makes us the, as the cave bear. When the child grows to manhood, he will be a great chief of our people. When the beast is done, take it with the hunters, Nakaso. Then you will see what the trolls are capable of. They are ugly monsters, but the forest mother blesses them. Um. E awoke. His head throbbed and he was unable to make sense of the others. Uh, they had hurt him but also healed him and fed him. What were these strange creatures who babbled constantly and put bison and mammoth on cave walls? Suddenly one of the others appeared naked before E. Her face was not like Ko's. She had no brows and her nose was small. Her face was flat. Small bumps appeared on her brown skin as she quelled shivers. Was it out of cold or fear? I don't know. This is weird, man. She turned around and presented herself, revealing her round box. Oh my god. It was too confused to be around. Oh my god. Ah. The images of Ike and the other children flash or E. That was why the others looked familiar. Uh, the no brows, the small nose, flat face, the strange incomprehensible babbling. They were like children. Or something. They fought E senselessly and healed and cared for him. They wasted the animals provided by the earth. They were like children, yes. They were tall and had skin like bark, but they were children. The others should not be feared any more than little Eek. Eck. I don't know, man. Does it relieve itself in deer and cave bears? The troll does not touch me. Ugh. Oh, phew. That is not the ancestor's wish. The capture must have affected the troll. Nakaso, take the troll on the hunt. Bring it to the spirits of the forest mother. Please, no. E would teach these children how to hunt. He could not comprehend their babbling, but knew that Ek babbled most when he was hungry. Okay. First, E would have to wash the scent and cover himself in the snow to mask his odor. All right, man. The bushes would provide E with the cover to sneak next to the straggler horse. I guess we'll just walk up to it. I guess I have to kill it. Um, Nakaso, the troll hunts like a cave bear. He is strong but does not hunt like a man. Let us show this troll how to be a, like a man before he dies. Uh, Nakaso, he'll kill the troll so he cannot defile Geothika. 
We will tell the shaman that he was trampled during the hunt. Uh-oh. Herd the horses toward the cliff. Bring the hunters near the horses to keep them on course. What? What am I doing? Um, oh, here they are. So I, I guess just hurt, hurt them? Lead. Are we literally going to be pushing horses off of a cliff? That's pretty morbid. Wow. What a waste. E watched the graceful horses led to their deaths, not awaiting the spears of hunters in ambush, but to the rocky cliffs. How could the others eat such meat? E would go down into the gorge with the others to survey the slaughter. Oh, God. Man, we were walking around the cliff face. Still walking. Uh huh. As he approached, the bodies of the horses dashed and mangled against the rocks. The others tightened their grips around their spears. You want to fight? Ah! Ah, Stop it, you! Um... What? Um... Well... The others were nowhere to be seen. He had enough of them. It was time to go to Ko's family. He would avoid any others he saw along the way. How did I not die? They literally killed me. One of the others. He could find somewhere to hide and wait until he moved on, or maybe he should encourage the dire wolves to scare off the other. Let's do that. Use the power of our wolf friends. Here, wolfy, wolfy, wolfy. He lured the wolves to the other. The predators immediately attacked the strange feathered and furred creature on two legs. Yeah, get him! He was betrayed by his footsteps in the noisy snow. What? Should have used the wind. What is going on? What is this? I feel like everything is happening way too fast. No! Stop it! In the... Oh my god. Sigh. Okay. He knew he had to be quiet now to avoid the others. He knew crossing the snow ahead would be noisy. He would have to use his hunting skill to move unseen and unheard from cover to cover, using the gusting wind to conceal his footsteps in the snow. Um, okay, yeah, I definitely missed that bit because I was just running ahead too quickly. Can I go over here? Can I, can I go? I guess this is the best we can be doing. The trees ahead were leafless and could not conceal E's robust frame. Wait until the other is not looking to cross. Okay, so it looks like he's just going back and forth. Just wait till he turns around and then we'll go. Uh, I guess we just keep going this way. Well, let's. What? Why are you attacking me, Mr. Boar? No! Stop! Oh, yeah, we lured the board. We did we did just that. That was totally intentional. Okay. Uh, Esau Ko's family cave up ahead. He excitedly sung a song of friendship. His journey was done and he would hear welcoming singing in return. 
Eve fell to his knees in agony. The rotted and defleshed bodies of Ko's family lay in the snowy dirt, pecked apart by scavengers. Bright flashes of Ko's family and life burst onto E's tear-stained eyes. Uh, why would they all leave E? What had E done to make them go away? Was the land of dreams a paradise of eternal summer? Was it a place away from the hungry cave bear and the savage others? I don't, I don't know. You're the last Neanderthal, man. Was anyone left in the world? Had the children that were the others taken this forsaken frozen earth? Would they now hunt the mammoth and the bison on the same windy rocks and frigid forest ease people had for untold generations? Somewhere, anywhere, where his people awake, he knew of no other family. He screamed in torment. Ah. Flashes of his body laying in the reddened snow came to E. The long sleep would overtake him. He would see his family and his people again in the dreams. Is that it? Our, our, wait, no. Strong scent of burning trees swept through E's nostrils. He could hear the sounds of animals fleeing. The panic. What? It was the others. Uh, okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't even know where I'm going. Oh. Uh, deer sprinted in the flame, fl er, in fear. The flames licked at their hooves as E pressed through the woods. The black smoke laying thick across the Oh, that's a lot of smoke. Um. Avoid the stampede. Uh, okay. Despite the black smoke in his pounding lungs, he drove further into the inferno. The dancing flames were swirling. Smoke formed vivid flashes of Ko and little Eek. Eek. He would see his family soon. What are we even doing? Um... Go this way? We do not go this way. We go this way. Clearly. I mean, we have to be getting towards the end. I mean, we're pretty much. You could, you could hear the others now. They had set the world aflame. They would be hunted now. Um. Is this supposed to happen? Oh, we have. Wait. I have a huge stat total. The strange fury engulfed E. His torment consumed him and as his mind. A universe of song and vibrant color escaped this world. With rage of a cave bear, he lashed against the others until he himself left this world. I, what, so we, we'd get angry and then we attack the humans and then we just die? Oh, maybe not. Or is, is, is this... E saw Ko, Ur, Kum, and Little Eek. E was at peace. If by at peace you mean dead. Like turbo dead. But we did it! Yay! Um... That happened. That was... Different, I guess. This whole thing was weird as hell. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I, I felt like I wasn't knowing what I was doing. And there were only a few times I was doing anything that wasn't a cutscene. So I guess maybe I'm just a, a confused little wolf. Like the forest mother. But yeah, rip, uh, rip all the Neanderthals. Although the yeah 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 well that was different and I guess that's it so uh, yeah thank you guys so much for watching that was the the last Neanderthal by Philadelphia that is that is not the sort of scenario I excel at but thank you for bearing with me I guess and I'll see you all next time.